Good morning, everybody. Uh, this is a talk about uh, WGM, which is a technology to allow more, uh, getting uh, more capacity out of a single strand uh, of dark fiber. And uh, it's a continuation of uh, uh, our previous talk at the previous conference. Uh, but if you have missed that one, don't worry, we'll just cover uh, what was missing, uh, what we covered before. So uh, what is WGM and why is it good? Uh, WGM is really a solution to a problem of getting high capacity transport uh, over uh, a short range or metro area uh, network. Uh, metro as metro uh, is really a distance of about 100 kilometers uh, where you can use uh, the technology without having to use amplifiers. How does WDM work? Uh, it, it is essentially sending uh, multiple independent streams of data over one single mode fiber. Uh, why, is it the, why WDM is very popular? Uh, because the cost of dark fiber uh, is fairly low. It is comparable to the cost of a single lead circuit. And the capacity of a dark fiber is essentially unlimited and, is limit, uh, and it can scale up to, uh, based on the equipment that you put in to terminate this dark fiber. So you are not paying, uh, if, you, if you scale from 2 gigabit to 10 gigabit to 20 gigabit, uh, you are not paying more per month, you are paying more in equipment to terminate this, to terminate this link. Uh, this is uh, uh, the standard technologies uh, you could use to uh, uh, use WDM. Uh, first, uh, you can do uh, wide wavelength division multiplexing. Uh, basically, you have LX and ZX optics and two wavelengths. Uh, that gives you two gigabit of capacity. You can do the same thing with 10 gigabit Ethernet using uh, LR and ER optics, and you get two 10 gigabit Ethernet. Uh, you can do coarse wavelength division multiplex in CWGM, uh, which will give you 8 gigabit over the same <clears throat> over the same fiber, or you can do dense wave division multiplexing for 10 gig uh, Ethernet, and uh, you could get up to 64 10 gigabit channels. Uh, why is WGM very interesting uh, for somebody who has? Uh, uh, operational experience and uh, 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 trying to build a network on a low cost. Uh, basically, uh, you can uh, grow this uh, when you have a system which is uh, GWDM, uh, two channels, you can add more filters and extract more uh, wavelengths and uh, uh, scale it up as you grow. Uh, this is an example of a, uh, <coughs> of a uh, filter setup for one of one of the configuration. First, you have uh, 1310, 1550 splitter. Uh, one end, the 1310, 1310 end goes to another splitter that extracts LX4 wavelengths. And uh, uh, as a result, in, uh, you have two 10 gigabit channels and eight gigabit channels uh, over a single pair of fiber. So uh, once you have reached the capacity of the standard uh, uh, of the standard system, how can you scale it to get even more? Uh, and this is the subject of uh, real this presentation. Uh, the more exotic and more advanced techniques, how to get uh, additional capacity. Um, <coughs> uh, well. Uh, the one technology is uh, LX4 and LR splitters. Uh, you can do, uh, you, you can uh, add uh, 10 gigabit channel uh, using LX4 uh, wavelengths. What is LX4? LX4 is, uh, is actually in it by itself is WDM multiplexed uh, 2.5 gigabit channels. There are four channels. Uh, and uh, the useful thing is that it doesn't interfere with LR wavelengths. So you can use LX4 and LR over the same pair, and essentially you can get uh, over the same pair 30 gigabits instead of 10 gigabit Ethernet. What is, a, uh, what is, a what is an interleaver? Uh, interleaver, uh, you can have uh, two, it, it's, 
It splits, it splits, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I, the, the, this, this old slide. Interleavers uh, uh, add capacity by uh, essentially uh, taking, taking the two channels and uh, uh, splitting them uh, based on uh, even, add, uh, uh, even add spacing. Uh, on even, uh, for example, if you have a uh, if you have a system with uh, uh, CWDM, uh, the CWDM channel is uh, approximately two nanometers wide. You can you can put it into uh, two of those channels into the same interleaver. And you can extract uh, one channel which has both uh, both data, uh, and uh, which, uh, each of those is about half of the light level. What is a circulator? So, circulator essentially uses polarization to uh, transmit uh, uh, on the same wavelengths in both directions. So, if you had a system that used uh, two pairs of fiber, you can put the same system on a on a uh, single strand of fiber uh, using the fact that uh, polarization can be, can be used to separate uh, uh, light going on a different, uh, on a different uh, uh, directions on this, on this fiber. So uh, the caveats of uh, doing this technology. Um, to my knowledge, there is nobody doing uh, commercial systems based on interleavers or LX4LR or uh, circulators. So you are pretty much on your own as far as building a complete system. Um, with certain technologies, for example, with uh, circulators, uh, you depend on the limited internal reflection of the fiber, and this is something that uh, you don't have to worry when you're doing uh, just single directional Ethernet. Um, if, uh, you, if, you, if the fiber of the splices have a significant internal reflection, uh, you may get your own signal reflected back, and uh, you would get a link to itself, and then you, your port will get disabled because it will detect the link. Uh, so you have to uh, attenuate signal uh, to prevent this from happening. Uh, the, doing, uh, doing this configuration requires uh, somewhat expensive equipment uh, to uh, test it and uh, 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 to get something, uh, get something useful out of it. Um, the spectrum analyzer, the broadband light sources, all that stuff is not very cheap. And of course, uh, what will happen if the engineer who built the system gets hit by a bus? Um, you know, will, will somebody else know how the system works and uh, how, to, uh, how to maintain it? If it breaks, what do you do? So, uh, where do you get the stuff? Uh, there are a number of companies who produce optical components, AC, Evanex, ETEC. Uh, the components itself are uh, somewhat expensive, but uh, the best place to buy, eBay. And there are a couple of companies who uh, build uh, components based on your specification. For example, LX4 LR splitter. Uh, the company that uh, made it for us is OE Market. Um, uh, if you have any questions, I guess you have to mail us or catch me at a lunch. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you.